This video will demonstrate how great and underrated Greg Pruitt was. Its cousins were 12 year NFL veteran Brig Owens and 11 year two time All NBA forward Bob Love. Pruitt had a terrific college career at the University of Oklahoma. In 1971, he averaged an incredible 9.4 yards per carry. Due to his small stature, however, he dropped to the second round of the 1973 NFL draft. His rookie year was future Hall of Fame running back Leroy Kelly's final year in the NFL. Even though Kelly started 13 games and Pruitt didn't start any, Kelly only gained 20 more yards on 71 more rushing attempts. But Kelly still showed occasional exceptional play. How good was Greg Pruitt? Good enough to make the Pro Bowl in four out of his first five seasons. And once more as a kick returner in 1983 at the age of 32, which is very old for a kick returner. That year he set a then record of 666 punt return yards. There's more, so let's get after it.
Cleveland Municipal Stadium was situated on the shores of Lake Erie, and while the weather could be nice, it could also be detrimental to ground gainers like Pruitt. For number 30, Ken Brown, who led the 1973 Browns in rushing with 537 yards. And over-exuberance could also be a negative factor, like it was in this Week 5 1978 game. In 1978, he missed four straight games with a deep thigh bruise, but still rushed for 960 yards, including 433 yards in the last three games of the season. Greg Pruitt used to wear tearaway jerseys. The back of his 1978 football card says, Greg goes through about 10 dozen torn jerseys a year. In 1979, the NFL made the Greg Pruitt rule, which made tearaway jerseys illegal. Greg Pruitt completed 8 of 19 career passes, good for 6 touchdowns and 182 yards. That's 22.8 yards per completion. In 1977, he was 4 of 9 with 3 touchdowns. Greg Pruitt won the 1979 Superstars competition. Mike Pruitt, no relation to Greg, took over as the main ball carrier in 1979 when Greg only played in six games. Greg would have no more rushing touchdowns through the end of his Browns career, 1981, but he was invaluable as a receiving specialist starting in 1980. He caught 115 balls for 1,080 yards and nine touchdowns in 1980 and 1981.
When Greg Pruitt retired after the 1984 season, only the five following players had more all-purpose yards than him. Football References Hall of Fame Monitor lists Greg Pruitt as the 51st best running back of all time. Not bad at all. <laughs> 